Let's get things going in the box break and start randomizing our two lists here. We have the owner names that will go through seven times, and then we have the teams that will go through seven times as well. It looks like I'm missing a couple names on the list here, so let me just fix that list up. Okay, I see it's it's actually supposed to be 26. So that's the right number. What I actually have to go back and correct is this list. That's the wrong list. So this is the right one. Let me go. You can see right here the 26 team checklist. That's actually what I should have had up there. There we go. And back to the random. So spinning it through seven times, we've got the owner names going through. All right, lucky number seven. And now we can randomize the teams. And we're going to be stacking the lists up side by side right here. Good luck getting Seattle. There's some other great ones to own, but Seattle is going to be the one everybody wants to see. The Braves certainly are going to be really good. Here comes a team random. Seven times. Lucky number seven. Let's see what we can find. The owner of the Seattle Mariners is the owner of the Mariners is going to be Matt F. All right, Matt has got the the coveted Mariners. I'm going to put this in alphabetical order by team name. Way to go, Matt. Hmm. The Atlanta Braves. There's there's some big Braves ones in here. Randy Johnson's in here. Patrick A has the Atlanta Braves. Wasn't Randy Johnson Mariners too? <laughs> yeah, I think he was. Um, there's a there's a lot of good teams. Um, I can't wait to see what comes out of the break. Let's see what happens. Craig Biggio. We actually pulled a Biggio already. I don't know if there's multiples or if it's just like one of every number in the set or what. I don't know. Here we go. Let's hit something big and hit parade. Good luck, everybody. I'd love to get somebody a gem mint 10 Griffey Jr. Every card in here is a 10. So let's see what happens. What's the first hit coming out of here? It's a Tigers gem mint 10. So there you go, Jeffrey P. We got one of these really great 89 per deck graded hits. Uh, one of my favorite sets ever, man. It's just a cool set. Really just a landmark set for baseball card collectors. It was just very, very landmark. And then then so many great rookies were that year too. It just happened to be a great year for rookies. So anyway, there it is. There's the first one. What's next? Astros. Glenn Davis. Jim and 10 for Brock T.
Maybe we'll pull a Gary Sheffield. He was Bears too, wasn't he? <laughs> I think it was Randy Johnson that's not Mariners. It's, yeah, but uh, Gary Sheffield was definitely, he was a Mariners. I'm trying to remember some of these 89 rookies. And everybody seems like they're Mariners. So that's a good one, Proc. Here we go. What is the next one? Oakland A's, Gene Nelson. Brock T owns this one. It's a Jim Mint 10. The final hit in the break. I think it's the final hit. I think there's four in every box. We're going to find out. Here it is coming up. What's it going to be? The next one in the break. It is the last one, too. It is the final one. It's a Tony Gwynn. Oh. Tony Gwynn. San Diego Padres. And so, the congratulations, Brock. Nice. Tony Gwynn. Brock T got that one. All right, so very exciting break. I'll tell you, it's such an exciting break when you have a chance at some of the big ones like that. That is good stuff. Eighty-nine upper deck baseball. 